Hey guys, best friend Manana here, da ba na na queen. So today I am here back with another speed bank for y'all, cause I can. So, anyways, let's get right into it. So as usual, we start out with the head shape. I did redraw the lines a couple times and reshape everything several times. I do cut out several parts of the video, cause I don't want it to be an hour long. Because y'all get bored by then. I redrew the nose a lot, but then I decided to go with a short one to make it work, and it actually worked out how I wanted it. I had a lot of fun making this. This was a request from someone for. <laughs> she wanted to give back for the gift I gave her for the speed paint, so she's making her own video, and. <laughs> So I decided to do this because, well, content, first of all, and because I can. So I did the eye a couple times. The eye was difficult for me. I don't know why. It's just four lines. I don't know what I found so difficult. Seriously, it's just four lines. What's so hard about that? Yeah, I thought it looked scary, so I'm just like, eee, no, so much no. So I ended up freehanding it, and just, the eye looked huge. I did not like that, so I decided to go with a smaller pupil. Yeah, I thought that looked better. I am pretty proud with what I did with this character. With what's coming up, I'm not so proud of. <laughs> this is not the part I'm talking about. Let's just be aware of that. I had a lot of trouble with the body and the posture. I wasn't sure how to do it. Then I added the hair. After I added the body, I feel like that is a better way to do it. To be honest, I just added a bunch of lines. <laughs> Later on, I change a lot of things. With the arm, I wasn't sure how to do it, because I didn't have the straight lines at first, so I later decide that I'm just going to draw it going straight down, and then I will change it from there. Put it in the position I want, rotate it just a bit, or, or do that. That works too. <sighs> I don't even know what I did in my own drawing. What? I'm... Mm. It's gonna be a lot of cutting things out in here. I had to have her look up because of what I wanted her to look at. So I fixed that up a bit. And then I fixed the hair. Because I didn't like how I had it when I changed. When I changed how she was, what direction she was facing, it messed up the hair. So I had to fix that. Tilt it a bit more. Later on, I decide that she's too tall. She's gotta be shorter. And now we move on to the arms. This took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. I then just gave up and settled on this. So I'm like, I'm done. No more. No more. We are not doing this all night. This took me, this took me about five hours. Yeah, this is how I spend my days. <laughs> So with this one, I felt the chin was too stubby, so I went in and I changed it a lot. Now, this is the part, this is, this character I'm not so proud of. I feel like it looks really bad, <laughs> but that's just me being a perfectionist. That's just what I am. I decided to settle on this nose because I did not want to go through the trouble. So I just settled on this because I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Who cares anymore? <laughs> The hair took me a while. I knew what I wanted. I just wasn't sure how to do it. And the hair didn't end up how I wanted it to look. So I just left it how it is. I so didn't use my friend as inspiration for the hair. I didn't do that at all.
So yeah, this took me a while because of all the fixing I had to do, all the recording and stop recording. It took forever. Plus I had someone talking to me at the same time, so that was even better. That made it so much better. Now, the problem I have with this is I found I couldn't get the body shape right. So what I did was I went, I copied what I had for the first character, and I just fixed how we wanted the, the body to look, and I erased the parts I didn't want. And then what I did was I took that, and I put it in. <laughs> this isn't cheating, is it? Does this count as cheating? I say no. I say I say it doesn't. It doesn't count as cheating. Right? Whatever. So with the arms, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I wasn't sure if I wanted him to reach out at the other character. I decided not to because I thought that it looked weird. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted it to look like, but then I just decide on having the arms like rest at the side to make it look more decent and i decided to use just a normal t-shirt now with the first character i decided to do like a t-shirt dress we've seen those around right yeah those are a thing that's a thing it's a thing that exists so i flip it around i notice that she's bigger than he is and i don't want that So I have to go through and fix everything, and then I notice his head's huge. I'm like, no, this this can't, no, no. But instead of, yeah, I fixed it off camera, and I added the coloring, and I cut that out because you, you don't again. I don't want this to be an hour long. So let's. So I cut that out. And if I could, hello, yeah, and I added his colors too after I finish erasing all the excess on her, and I do the same thing I did with her. I had to look at my notes. I had I made notes. I had a friend helping me. I kept going back to her asking, like, hey, what should I do? Should I add a fade? What should I do? I don't know what to do. Help me. So with the fade, I decided to just do it pretty simple. I forgot to do the eyes before erasing everything. So I tried so hard without zooming out to showing you guys anything. But that didn't work. So me and my friend decided to do a fade background, and I really liked that idea. So, yeah, I stuck with that, decided to make it go from dark to light. And here is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure you like and subscribe to join the Banana Army. I'll see you guys next time. Hit the little bell button down below to know when I upload or go live. See you guys next time. Bye!